Catherine Connolly. Almost four months ago to the day, I used my leader's question to raise the very serious issue of domestic violence. And I also, and more specifically, raised the failure of the government to fund approximately one million to review the groundbreaking study that was carried out in 2002 with over 3,000 victims of violence generally, and um, which it confirmed the extraordinary prevalence of violence in Irish society. Since then, you have presided over a budget which utterly failed and utterly fails to grasp the seriousness of the issue or indeed to make any provision to deal with the extent of domestic violence and its pervasive and detrimental effect not only on women and children but on every level of society. Simultaneously, you made provision for five million for a strategic communications unit. And you did that, you did that notwithstanding the urgent representations from Safe Ireland, which represent over 30 organisations on the ground who are more than familiar with the catastrophe that is there in relation to violence generally and particularly domestic violence. They have pointed out that a massive 4,831 requests for a safe place, a refuge, were refused last year. They have pointed out that we are dealing with the tip of the iceberg and 79% of women don't report abuse. They pointed out that there is no such thing as a typical victim. It affects every social class and every age and every educational level. And they pointed out that it's a rarely once-off event. One in every three women experience severe psychological violence and over 12,500 made up of almost 10,000 women and approximately 3,000 plus children attended for a safe refuge. They also pointed out that we have a serious absence of safe havens. Now Taoiseach, I would really appreciate if you would listen because you accuse the opposition of interrupting you and giving false facts. I am confining myself to the facts of the experts on the ground, and I am asking you, where is the Cabinet subcommittee, which your, the, your colleague and former Taoiseach promised to set up? Where is that Cabinet subcommittee? Where is the leadership in relation to this matter that is causing, costing, at a minimum, £2.5 to the economy per year? Where is your leadership in relation to helping people avail of your so-called Republic of Opportunities? Taoiseach, if you could stand up, and actually, if you don't have an answer, I'd respect that and come back to me with it. But please, don't give me sanctimonious rhetoric in relation to this matter. Please clarify why there is no Cabinet subcommittee, how you can stand over five million for a, a spin unit and not one million to review a savvy report. And please come back and tell me that you will read Safe Ireland and work with them and come back here with a plan and a timescale. I welcome the fact that you have an open mind in relation to it. However, I am not reassured that you have uh, referred to a Cabinet B. It is an unfortunate B rather than an A committee. But leaving that aside, you have not explained how you came into a position and change a cabinet subcommittee that was as a result of the previous Taoiseach highlighting the importance of leadership and something to drive, to drive the reduction, the prevention and a, a role for education in the tre uh, prevention of domestic violence. You haven't explained how you can allocate five million for a spin and not explain how one million it is not an academic research that they are looking for. If you read, you will see that after the 2002 research, they followed up with a qualitative research and found out the, the actual study helped the victims in coming forward. It is beyond, it is beyond Cabinet B committees. It is time for leadership. It is time for you to come back and say, I am setting a date and a time scale. And I am setting up a cabinet committee that will drive this. And I am going to work with the organisations on the ground. Homelessness for victims of domestic violence hasn't been captured whatsoever in the figures. They have no place to go to. 
So I'm asking you again, and Am once again, I'm appealing to the men in suits. If, if, it, if it doesn't get you on the level of emotion and psychology, perhaps it will get you on the level of 2.5 billion cost to the economy per year. It makes sense to deal with it. Tisha, one minute. 